This is me. Just kidding. This is me. Hello, my name is Amanda and welcome to my channel, Always Popular, where I will be talking about pop culture, music, film, drama, and fan videos. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Always Popular. I'm Amanda, your host, and let's jump into this week's episode. If you haven't paying attention to newer artists of Gen Z like Sabrina Carpenter or Chappelle Roan, you would know they have been making headlines, good or not. The newest artist on the rise is Chappelle Roan. She's been making some controversial headlines since the VMAs, so let's get into it. For those who don't know, Chappelle Roan is an American singer and songwriter. She released her debut album, The Rise and Fall of the Midwest Princess last year in September. She has been slowly rising up as one of the biggest new artists of the year, with her infectious dance song Hot To Go being one of the songs of the summer and her talked about being made before of Good Luck Babe. Her album may have been a sleeper hit last year, however, she is now a cult-like following since earlier this year, along with some controversies. So she recently pulled out of two different performances due to being stressed and overwhelmed with her current fame. These shows that were held in New York and Maryland. Also, many articles state that it's because of her opinions on the upcoming elections. So now her political comments and cancellations got major attention and backlash. Her cancellations did not sit well with some of her fans. Nowadays, I feel like fans should be more concerned rather than upset with their favorite singer if they cancel, if it's for their emotional well-being. I understand it's frustrating when your favorite singer cancels a show. However, it is just a show and she can reschedule it and you can get your money back eventually. She quoted and said, things have gotten overwhelming over the past few weeks and I am really feeling it. So to be honest, I would have to agree with her on her opinion. Mental health should always come before anything else. So because she's actually doing something about it and taking responsibility for it, she's being criticized for it. She is trying to normalize mental health. And of course, she isn't the only one because multiple other people her age and older are always advocating to better the industry. So the fact she's getting slammed for it just seems wrong. Maybe it's just the way she worded it or the way she's coming off on people. Recently in a TikTok video, she came out and addressed stalking behavior as well and calling people out who think that's normal. Trust me, stuff like that is never normal. People think that it's acceptable in Hollywood. Well, really, to be honest, it's not. So just because she has set boundaries and doesn't want to be treated like a zoo animal in public, there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean you should be following her around like a lost puppy. She even said, it's weird how people think that you know a person just because you see them online and you listen to the art they make. She said that on her TikTok in August. It's weird that even some of her fans hold her out for it. Unfortunately, not every singer will have open arms and a heart to fans. Some people are just like that. Just saying, some artists are good at being social and personable and having a loyal fan base. Others just don't care or want to get involved in stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, who does all of this make you think of? The one pop star who everyone loved that had a mental breakdown? Oh right, the biggest 90s female pop star, Britney. Let's put this in perspective. You want Chappelle Roan to be treated like her? The way Britney was back in 2007? With no room to breathe and paparazzi's down her neck? And you wonder why people still make documentaries on child fame, stardom, and mental health. The most recent one being Demi Lovato's child star. Quite simply, Chappelle is not your puppet. She's not putting up with industry bullshit. That's why people are calling her sassy, saying her 15 minutes of fame are up, and she's ruining her career, and stuff like that. So for people to say she's becoming insufferable isn't true. She's trying to make things better, and it's not going to be the end for her career. With her branding, her style, and sassiness, I feel like people will enjoy her, and I recently became a fan of hers two months ago. So I feel like the general public wants to break her down just like the other female pop stars have been treated in the past and she literally just started her career so why are people complaining about her so much maybe chappelle needs a social media break other than that what are your thoughts on her and her recent rise to fame do you like her let me know in the comments below thanks for listening and watching and you'll hear me in the next episode